we will begin in seated pose on our mats. Allow yourself to ground down into the mat, allowing your shoulders to relax and unfurl your brow. We'll take a few shoulder rolls backwards. Notice your breath here. Don't feel the need to pick up the pace or slow down. Allow your breath to flow as comfortable as you'd like it. Then begin to roll forward. Then we'll do some neck circles. Just slowly glide your neck over to the left side. Allow it to dangle behind and slowly come back forward. We'll do that two more times. Allow yourself to feel all the sensations. We'll go the opposite way. We have two more times. We'll then take our left hand and place it outside of our right knee and then take our right hand behind us and then just gently gaze backwards for seated twist. Allow your spine to elongate and exhale, look backward. So inhale, elongate and exhale, look back. We'll hold here for five more breaths. We'll then go to the opposite side now, taking our right hand on the outside of our left knee and then taking our left hand and placing it behind us, elongating our spine and then Looking backwards. We'll hold here for five more breaths. Release. And then we'll make our way to the tops of our mat for tabletop. Spine is a neck are neutral, keeping our core engaged here and our shoulders stacked over our wrist and our hips stacked over our knees. Keeping our feet flat on the mat, we'll move into a few rounds of cat cow. Exhale, protract your shoulders, looking backwards. Inhale, broaden for cow. Exhale, contract. Inhale, expand for cow. Exhale, take your gaze to your thighs. Inhale, look upward for cow. Now you can set these free on your own pace. If you'd like to go slower, you can as well. Have two more rounds. All right, 
We'll then begin to lift up our right leg first for low crescent lunge. And just allowing us to stretch out our hip flexors and our hamstrings here. We'll just hold, keeping our shoulders stacked over our hips and our thumbs are facing backwards and our pinkies are dialed together. We'll hold here for three more breaths. We'll then begin to place our hands onto the mat and we will heel toe our right foot to the edge of the mat. And we'll get in a little bit more of a deeper stretch for lizard lunge. Placing both forearms onto the mat, you can also still keep your position here as well with both hands on the mat perfectly okay. And we'll just hold here for the next six breaths. And you can experiment with how far you want your foot to be to your forearms. Lift up, taking that same right leg we're going to create it a parallel line with the top of our mat with our right leg and we'll just begin to settle in to half pigeon. You can also bring your forearms to the mat or you can stay upright. We'll stay here for the next six breaths. then release back up. Then taking our left leg, placing it onto the mat, we'll then take our right leg and tuck our foot behind us here. And what we're working towards is half reclining pose. So I'm gonna just pivot and have our quad here tucked, so you guys can see. And we're going to just lean back on our forearms. We're on our forearms a lot today for this, for half reclining pose. You can also still sit upright too for that variation that works as well. And so on our forearms in half reclining hero pose, we'll just hold here for the next three breaths. Slowly release. Okay, we'll do the same thing with the left side. So coming back into tabletop, just to recenter, we will then take our left leg forward for low crescent lunge. And maybe this side feels different, which is perfectly okay. Our thumbs are backwards and our shoulders are relaxed. We'll hold here. And then we'll release, bringing both palms onto the mat. We'll then begin to heel toe the left foot towards the edge of the mat. And you can stay up here, or you can lower to your forearms for lizard lunge. We'll hold here for four breaths. Okay, 
slowly release. And then creating that same parallel shape with the tops of our mat for half pigeon. You can hold. You can stay upright or lower. Slowly but surely, bringing that right leg up front now. You can also bring your left leg now tucked underneath for reclining half hero pose, lower to our forearms. If you want to stay up, you can. But we'll just hold here. And release. Then we'll be lowering onto our backs. Okay. And then we will keep our feet hip width distance apart and our palms flat. And we'll just gently raise up for bridge. Then lower. And then we're going to end the class in fetal position now. And so we'll just be here for a moment and just honor yourself with giving yourself a grounding moment for today. Just allow yourself to sink in. Slowly begin to rise up if you're ready. And come back into seated. Circle sweep our arms. Bring our hands at heart center. The highest good in me honors, sees, and believes in the highest good in you. Thank you so much for flowing with me today. I hope you received more grounding and calming energy to carry you throughout your week. Thank you so much for flowing with me today. Namaste. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next flow. Thank you. Bye.